Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Friends, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com. I like to show you this because I have got a sweet built-in messaging tool. If you ever have a question, comment, or suggestion, you can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. I would also like to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. As far as today's design though, we are going to be making this awesome cutting board from Snapdragon's Picnic. Friends, if you haven't seen this, I did a shout out. You can find it up above. Snapdragon made this amazing project and now she's letting us build the individual pieces. Of course, friends, step one is to visit Tinkercad. I choose sign in with Google and we're going to choose create new design. Friends, let's start by naming it cutting board. And then I'm going to build mine with the cylinder. You could build yours with a rectangle. I do want it to be totally round. I want it to be two millimeters thick. And then I'm just going to stretch these out. I'm going to do 36 and I'm going to do 32 for the size of my cutting board. You can adjust those however you want. And then friends, what this is going to be is a cutting board template. So real quickly, we're going to make it a hole. We're going to bring out a rectangle. I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm gonna stretch it to huge sizes, but I'm gonna make it three millimeters thick. There's your hole underneath. I'm gonna grab it all. I'm gonna click a line. I'm gonna do center, center, and then don't forget this one. We want center over here as well, and we're gonna group it. So if we hit T for transparent, you can see that we have got a cutout hole in the middle. Now we're gonna make it a hole, so that way it's ready for the next part of the project. We're going to simply bring out a block, stretch it so it's going to fit in there. Remember, we want to make it about 2.25 or something like that. So it's going to be inside that shape. Make it a little longer, and I'm going to make it brown. I'm going to go dark brown. Now, friends, we're going to use scribble to make the cool little lines. Now, we want to make sure our scribble goes past the other one and just draw random patterns. You can do this however you want. You can make them a little thicker and thinner everything you want when you hit done you need to change that to a different brown i'm going to do the light brown i'm going to make sure it goes past which that does i'm going to change this to 2.25 as well all right friends so now it's time for cutting let's simply grab all three choose a line i'm going to click on this one and choose middle middle and we of course need to do the middle when we group it it is all one part if we click in here and choose multicolor, we're supposed to get the colors. If they don't show up, just ungroup it and let's do it in a different order. So this time I'm going to use shift click, shift select, shift select, shift select. Got all three. Once again, I'm going to do a line to the hole, center, center, and center. Let's group. This time the light brown shows up first. If we turn on multicolor, bam. There is our awesome cutout cutting board. Friends, remember all thanks goes to Snapdragon for sharing this cool technique. Of course, if you haven't seen her shout out, you can check it out up above. Don't forget if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click that button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing lessons and the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your information, comment, or question, and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And then finally, there is the Designer Showcase. Don't forget so many amazing profiles. When you click on these profiles, they are initially sorted by likes. If you switch to latest, boom, you can see what each designer is working on lately. Friends, don't forget if you open those projects and you're impressed with what they're doing, give them a reaction. 
while we're out here friends don't forget we have got tinkercad tv episodes if you want to be inspired and make more things in tinkercad it's a great place to start and then finally we also have the links for how to get a shout out if you need more information of course there's a tutorial last but not least friends i want to say thanks again to snapdragon and of course if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching